you know, throughout the year, even before it, you mentioned Omaha uh, repetitively, even a couple nights ago, even said late February we're going to Omaha. A lot, a lot of high expectations there. Is there any regret in saying things like that? No, no, saying no, the no. ceiling and seeing that, I think that that's where it gets. I think that I, 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 that's hard for me to even understand because, I mean, when you step on the field in a league like this, when you step on the field in a league like the Big 12, you you compete to go to Omaha. If you're competing for anything less, you you have a you have the wrong approach. So, you know, our approach never changed. Even yesterday, we were competing to get to Omaha because the way baseball is built. And a, a great example of that is Fresno State. If they don't win their conference tournament, they don't go to the NCAA. If they don't win the first round, they don't go to Arizona State for super. If they don't win that, they don't go to Omaha. And if they don't beat Georgia two out of three, they don't win a national championship. You know, they had to, just like us, advance and win up to the last day of the season. And, um, you know, they're, they're no different than we are. They're no different than anyone else. If you're not competing to go, then you're, you're looking at it the wrong way. So I've been asked that before, and it's hard for me to comprehend, to be honest with you, the question because I was hired and brought here to help lead uh, the Auburn Tigers to Omaha. And that started from day one, and it won't change. As long as I'm here, it will not change. That's that's our goal, is to get to Omaha. You know, a few weeks ago, you said that the, the program was either going to change you or you're going to change the program. How do you feel at the end of the season, the direction of the program and well, things you've been able to do? Well, the foundation in which we feel we've built, it, it, it didn't show up in wins and losses. So I understand um, that it's hard on the surface to see any kind of progress. But I know what we've done, and I know what we're building, and I know how we're building it. And uh, if you want to really have a good program and you want to be a solid program for years to come, um, you've got to build a foundation. And, and a lot of times after a house has been built, nobody ever sees the foundation. But uh, this one won't have any cracks in it. Um, I talked with Coach Maneri for a long time. His first year at LSU, very similar. Um, he had a lot of seniors. Um, they didn't make the SEC tournament. And uh, it was one of the toughest years he ever went through. And so, you know, at the end of the game, that's one of the things that he reminded me is, hey, you know, take care of yourself. Because he knows how tough it can be, especially when you come from a winning program and you've done, you know, what, uh, what you've been able to do. But that's why you're hired is because of what you've been able to do and what you're going to do. So we won't change anything. We'll keep working. We'll stay positive and we'll continue to build our program. It won't change. How deflating is it then as a coach, and maybe even speaking for your players, that you, you talk Omaha before the year, and that's that's the goal, obviously, to not even make the SEC tournament now. Uh, the season's done, last game of the year. How deflating is that for you? Well, I, it, I don't think it's deflating. I just think it's history. You know, now it's over. Um, it, it's, you know, I don't know. I really don't know how to answer the question because right up until the first inning you know when we're playing we're playing to get to the SEC tournament and of course we don't so um, you know there, there's I really don't know how to answer the question because um, for three of the last four years you know I was coaching a team that wasn't just playing the next weekend or the following weekend but even the following weekend you know so there were at least three more if not four more weeks to go and uh, it'll be different, much different. But, uh, you know, last year uh, we made the SEC tournament, played one game, and the season was over on a Tuesday instead of on a Saturday. So, you know, the season was extended three days. Um, so you, we, we, won't, we won't, you know, make a, a mountain out of that because I don't think that it is. And the other thing is you want to be playing good baseball late in the year, and we weren't. Um, this is that's what disappoints me is you know of all the teams that I've coached um, gosh probably in the last 16 years this 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 team that I coach and, I, and I'm held responsible I'm not pointing fingers at anybody but myself but this without a doubt is the worst that we've been playing at the end of the year uh, we were playing our worst baseball this weekend and that's that's on me you know that's on me um, the people that I hire to help me, I make those decisions. Um, you know, I make the decisions of how we train. I make the decisions in the lineup. I make the decisions in what we do. So it starts with me. Um, 
and I'm not going to be too hard on myself. It's my first year. Um, we'll evaluate it. We'll make the changes we feel that we need to make, and we'll move forward. And we'll use this year as a as a valuable uh, learning tool. Um, you can look all around the league. You know, I've talked to everybody. I've talked to Sully in Florida. I've talked to Coach Maneri. I mean, Dave Serrano, believe it or not, you know, for two years, only winning eight games in the league and now finally qualifying for the SEC tournament. Um, Dave's a good man, a good baseball man, and he had tremendous success at Fullerton. So, you know, he's got to be extremely excited right now but not be satisfied just going to the tournament. And I'm sure that he won't be, even though – you know, as they go in there, they go in as the 10th seed with Georgia being the nine. So, um, yeah, I understand how difficult it can be in year one changing things, and it was extremely difficult this year um, in changing things. And a lot of it has to do with, um, you know, accepting the change and, and buying into the change. And I'm not saying that we didn't completely, but uh, a lot of things that happen, you know, when Bergman throws the ball down the line, and it's behind the tarp almost. And, and, you know, I'm bringing the guy to third, and I look, and we don't have a runner at second. I, I'm still left scratching my head at times. And that was a key moment in the ball game still. So there's so many things that we still need to continue to fix. And it's going to take a lot more than me to fix it. You know, I've got to make sure we have the right people helping me fix it.